Uh, Ollie on the verge of Christmas, but uh, what a cracker of a game coming up this weekend, Saracens. Yeah, it's going to be special. Um, I think everyone's really excited about this weekend. Um, you know, obviously coming off the back of a good result at Leicester. Had a few sherries on the way home there to celebrate that. But um, yeah, moving swiftly onwards, it's um, you know you sort of enjoy your Christmas a little bit. You know, you have that couple of days away, but then you know we're back in on Thursday, we're raring to go for the weekend. You talk about that Leicester game for you, probably personally huge, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a special, special game. Not been involved much this season, um, but you know, credit credit to the squad really. I mean, you know, there's a few guys that have played a lot of rugby um, over the course of. European block and, and to back that up with the performance away at Welford Road, you know, it's a tough place to go at the best of times, um, was, was really special. And we saw the strength of the squad, the numerous changes we made, but it doesn't look like it hampers anyone, does it? Whoever comes in, they know the job. Yeah, I, I, you say that, you know, we're, we're confident, you know, whatever team we put out. Um, I know, have even you know, playing in some of the A-League stuff, you know, you, you're playing with some young lads there that are desperate to get in the team. So, We've got we're fighting for positions all all around you know the, the squad so um, yeah it's it's an exciting place to be at the moment. That's five or six wins on the bounce now, but this is probably going to be the acid test now. Saracens with their the position they're in, they're fighting for everything, aren't they? Yes, yeah, it's, it's you know it's, it's going to be tough. Um, we always know we played them a few times now. We know it's going to be a tough game, but um, yeah, I say it, I said it after the game at the weekend. We're just taking game by game. You know, we're coming off the back of some good results, but. You know, we know we can be better, and that's the exciting thing. Is there a bit of extra spice to this game, given in bear in mind what's happened with them, what's happened in finals, and that between you both, there's that little bit more than perhaps other games. I think you can. It's down to the individual, you know, player. I think you use whatever motivation you, you want, really. But um, we, we've played Saracens a lot of times, and it's always a really tough game. So we'll expect nothing less. It's quiet here now, but a packed Sandy Park. You know what it's like. It's, it's going to add to the occasion, I'd imagine. Yeah, everyone wants to play in these games. These are the big games. Um, Welford Road last week, that was a huge game, huge performance for us. This at home is going to be really special, so um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. Just reflect a little bit on the, the Leicester game, because first half they threw everything at you and then second half you were almost like snakes, you were just squeezing the life out of them, weren't you? Yeah, they, you know, they, they came up the blocks um, and they, you know, they used that emotion, I think, of a you know, home performance. You know, that, that I, they had their strongest team they fielded up, in my opinion, you know, in the, for the whole entire, uh, entirety of the season. Um, but I think it's credit to us. You know, we, we stuck in the fight there. We came in at half time, and we we knew that if we stuck to our processes, that you know it would see us through. And I think the last 20 minutes, you saw a defensive performance that was um, something to be proud of. Is that the growing maturity we're seeing amongst the group now that you're learning from big games, big occasions like that? That you aren't panicking when you're in a situation like that. Yeah, definitely. I think you know, even just being involved in the final the last few years, you know, the win and the loss, you take something from it, and and that's you know that. Like, like you say at the weekend, you know, you take those sort of um, experiences. Reflect on 2019, lots of highs I'd imagine, the occasional low, but was it a good year for you? Yeah, I think, you know, I'm, I'm just excited to be part of this team and you miss it a lot and, and not being involved this season and, and the way we started this season, you know, we're doing well in Europe and we're back to top of the table, um, you know, you miss that and you, you miss being part of the boys, so yeah, for me, I'm, I'm just um, delighted to be back. Is it weird that you're only, well, almost at the turn of the year, round seven of the Premier so much more to come into 2020, yeah. as well as Europe as well, where you're flying. Yeah, I'm lucky in that sense, I've had a good six or seven months out, um, but it feels like, yeah, it's Christmas time, we've only played six or seven league games, so um, yeah, still a lot more to come.